North Alabama, there are so many women doing amazing things, and our next guests are highlighting those women on their podcast, The Ladies List. Best friends Katie Crawford and Sally Keen are the hosts of that, and they are joining us live now in studio. Ladies, good morning, Hi. and thank you so much oh, for being here. Thank, we know thank you, you for having us. Started such a wonderful thing. We're so excited to highlight that here on the show. Well, uh, first, let me tell. I want to hear how you guys have become friends. You know, like I said, you're your best friends. You've now started this <laughs> business. Where did when did this all first start? So I love to tell this. Story. Uh, Katie loves to tell this story. Uh, we met in the Junior League of Huntsville, and we were on a committee together. And I was obsessed with her, and I was like, "Please be my real friend." <laughs> that is, that, I commend that so much. I'm also I, the worst at making she told real me friends. No. So I was like, oh, "Get I'm, out!" I didn't say like flat out no, but it was like, "Yeah, no, sure, we'll get coffee sometime." You know, and Katie was like, "No, no, no, let's put something on the book." No, now. like when? Like, like, like yeah. tomorrow? Right? Okay, now. great. So, oh my goodness! And you guys were in each other's weddings? Yeah. yeah. Well, Katie was in my wedding. I got married in August. So oh my Katie goodness! Katie was my matron of honor. Yeah. I love that. Can we like yes. make that more socially acceptable? Just like seeing people and being like, "You, uh -huh. we're getting friends." <laughs> exactly. We're getting coffee. She tomorrow. like zoned in. And was, like, yes. That exactly. is so fun. Okay, so then tell me, when did the idea of the Ladies List podcast come about? Sure. So it was really born out of our passion um, from the Junior League that we, you know, gained in supporting women and women-owned businesses. Um, it kind of started before 2020, and we were going to do a social media platform. We were going to do a directory of women-owned businesses. It was going to be something like that. We had our logo set up and then COVID hit. Right. <laughs> and it became, well, this doesn't feel sensitive to the time and what we're doing right now. Our priorities shifted. Things changed for us. Fast forward to September of 2021. I woke up one morning and I picked up the phone to call Katie like I almost always do every morning yeah. and said, hey, remember the ladies list? And she was like, oh uh, yeah, what are we doing with that? I was like, why don't we do a podcast? Yeah. Unbeknownst to us, it was actually International Podcasting Days, end of September, September 30th okay. of 2021. Um, so that really felt like fate. Yeah. And we started recording in November of 2021 and aired our first episode January of 2022 and have not stopped or looked back since. Wait, that is so crazy. The yeah. actual calendar day, y'all. Like, wild. Oh, it's timing. I will tell you, it's Truly. so crazy to it even wild. hear. Uh, I mean, like TVL kind of had a similar story. We launched in 2020. Okay. And I remember thinking, like, this is a lifestyle show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Highlighting like fun <laughs> events around town. <laughs> there are no yeah. event. We had no in studio guests. Right. We will all be in Zoom people. at that point. So yeah. Yeah. we love now that we can have fun people now here in studio. And to think now, I mean, you guys have just launched season two. I know. We have. Tell us about this and what actually is really featured on the podcast. So. So season two, so far we've aired two episodes. Um, the first one being the Huntsville mom, Jessica Geary Cantrell. And we this, love her. The second <laughs> one being too. Lady Val Smith of Snail on the Wall. And we're really just talking to them about what inspires them, what um, motivates them, and what kind of over obstacles they've had to overcome. Yeah. And we've got four more recorded and lots more for the spring planned. But really and truly, I think the thing that we love talking about is how they are connecting to their community yes. mm. and what they're really kind of learning about themselves as they go along and what it's teaching us. Yeah. Yes. Oh. We've yes, learned, sorry, I mean, we've learned so much just yes. about ourselves, you know, about these women and the cool things they're doing, but about ourselves, it's kind of, and you probably experienced this too, interviewing people, mm -hmm. you just kind of are like, oh, wow, well, you have that same struggle that I have, or mm -hmm. you're yeah. going through a similar thing, and then you're putting that out in the wide world for other people to be inspired by. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it so is. true. Jessica and Lady, I can attest, are, yes. are both absolutely incredible, and I know they have such good words of wisdom, and so with that, any kind of specific moments that you guys have had on the podcast where you've thought that's... That's good. Yeah. Yes. I know for me, the one that really sticks out is when we were interviewing um, Aisha at Wilson of yeah. Aisha Wilson Cakes. Um, she talked about knowing her worth mm -hmm. and that she stands up for her mm -hmm. value and what her business costs. And it was so kind of intrinsic to me of like, it's okay to stand up for what I'm worth mm -hmm. and what my value is. And that if people don't accept that, then they're not the right ones to work with. Mm. Mm -hmm. Such a good word, word of wisdom. I know we've seen that translate yeah. to a lot of other stories. And mine is from the same episode, actually. She, Aisha is just so full yes. of wisdom. But she literally said, you're never going to get it perfect, so just do it. Done is better <sighs> than perfect. And for me, the recovering yeah. perfection I needed to hear that, especially Girl, with this podcast. It's just yes. one of those things like, 
we have this story, we need to get it out. It's never going to be exactly perfect. Let's get it oh, out there. What a blessing that y'all yes. get to be, you know, firsthand witnesses to these people's lives and their stories. I mean, I've always exactly. said that here on TV. I know I love when we bring other podcasts and outlets yeah. on because we really share this passion for highlighting people's stories yes. and hearing what they have to say. And it is so true getting to, you know, witness that firsthand is such an honor because you hear people and you're like, you are amazing. Mm -hmm. So ladies, thank you so much for coming on and for what you do. Tell us, if you will, um, just kind of where, of course, we can stream along and kind sure. of the format too, kind of time frame that these are in, you know, where, mm -hmm. where can we just learn more about the ladies list? Yeah, so you can learn about us on social media. We're at the ladies list. We are very active on Instagram, um, but we are on all platforms podcast wise. Um, if we're not, please DM us and I will, we will get us on there. Absolutely. Um, but Apple, Spotify, all the big ones, Amazon, you know, et cetera. Um, we try to release every other week, although life happens. Mm -hmm. um, but that's our goal is to have a, a pretty regular and consistent episode launch. And right. our next episode launches on Wednesday. Yeah, on the Wednesday. Yes. The big day. It's with yes. Tori from the Party Prep who has her grand opening this weekend. Yes! yes. We, we love Tori. Oh, yes, We've been exactly. announcing that a few yes. times. Yes. 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 Her new storefront is opening up at Stove House this Saturday, yes. so we are super yes. excited. Grand opening, yes. yeah. So, so fun. Ladies, thank you for all what you thank do. You I'm going to end. I hear you end every podcast with the oh. question, <laughs> what do you want to do this year that you've never done before? Okay. First of all, we apologize to all of our guests. This is a very hard question. <laughs> we did not and we, know that. We did not realize how hard this was to think up um, something that you've never done before. But for me, I, I want to go to the Grand Canyon. I've never been. It's Girl, been on my it. list to do before and just hasn't happened. So, I love to cook <laughs> and I want to make homemade ravioli from start to finish, like the ricotta, the pasta, the sauce, the oh, whole that's a thing. Process. Right? Girl, mm -hmm. you do it. You and go we'll, to the we'll, Grand Canyon. We'll all have dinner together. <laughs> perfect. Exactly. Perfect. We'll go ride horses and then eat ravioli yes, and just yes. have a day. I ladies, thank you again thank so much. You. Again, the Ladies List podcast will have all that information on TVL as well. Yes. Thank you guys again. Thank you. Thank you.